Hey there, I just wanted to go over my um, drip irrigation system that I am using to water my orchard and garden. And um, I know it was a little tricky for me to start out with just finding all of the components and figuring out exactly what I needed. So I thought I'd just go over this to make it simpler for you. So first you want to start by hooking up a hose to your water source. And I just use, um, I think it's a 15 foot hose. And then you're going to need a, um, let's see, this is a female-female adapter. So the hose end is considered male, and then the, the female um, adapter will go, you know, screw onto that. And then you'll need another f female end for your um, little filter to screw into, as you can see there, hopefully. Um, and then this filter has a little drain spout at the end where you can... Um, let the water out as needed and kind of flush it out every now and then and then you'll need a um, PSI uh, What's it called? I forget what it's called um, uh, The exact words of it, but um, a Reducer I believe something like a PSI reducer so it can be like this one can be 125 PSI max coming in so you'll have to figure out your water pressure coming out of your house. Um, we have well water, so it's much lower than that, no problem. Um, if you have city water, it might be really high. Um, and this one fits, it's got a female end, so it fits directly onto the uh, male end of the filter. And then it comes out at 10 PSI, you can see. So that works for the drip irrigation system. Um, and you can kind of find the specs on that when you're ordering or buying your stuff. Um, then we have a, I use a splitter because I like to have the option of hooking a hose to it and being able to just run a hose straight off of it if I need to, to water my plants right next to it. Um, but you can, you don't have to have this obviously. Um, then you're going to have a timer and I kind of like these orbit timers because if you get them at Walmart you can actually get the um, little protection plan it's like I think it's a year and if they fail on you in the year you can you know take them back and exchange them and have a new one you know and and I find that it didn't seem to matter what, what kind of water timer I would get it just seemed like sometimes they would fail within a year if they last longer than a year they'll probably last a long time. If they don't, then <laughs> they might just never, you know, they might just not serve you. So anyway, some of them just seem to be, um, I don't know what it is with, maybe it's when they're made or what, but this one has actually lasted for a couple years and um, you do want to bring them in in the winter. You don't want to leave them out all winter, especially if you have a lot of hard freezes where you live. So you can set that timer. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. Um, I have one with two ports here. You can get them with one port. You can get them with three ports. Um, the two port one works for me. So I have, I can set them on two different time schedules. And um, I have some of my, I actually have two splitters hooked <laughs> up to them. I really like my splitters. Um, and I just run it all at once because with the way our well pump works and everything, um, according to the well experts that I had, that I talked to about this, it's better to just use a lot of water all at once rather than um, using, like, I used to have it set where just one would run at a time and I would try and spread it out, but they said just run it all at once. So that's what I do now. Um, so I have some soaker hoses, or um, I have the, the poly pipe first hooked up, and then I have drip tape attached to my poly pipe. So I'll show you that in just a sec. But you can see here you have to get... Um, these um, adapters which this side here screws in and then this has like this screws but the poly pipe just slides on it slides on real tight and I'll do a video about that um, separately showing how to do that I can't do that in this position but um, you'll need so you'll need the type that has the female um, screwing and hose end I think it's called hose end attachment and then um, the poly pipe slip adapter and same up here so got all that hooked up then I've got my poly pipe running and I will show you 
Um, it's just this black pipe. Um, it, it doesn't take as much pressure as a hose. That's part of the reason you need to be careful about the pressure adapter, as far as I know. Um, but then if you ever mow over it, which I recommend maybe burying it if you need to. I like to keep mine above ground, at least mostly above ground, so that it's easy to repair, it's easy to change things out as needed, but um, and kind of move it to different areas, which I've done several times. But anyway, this one got mowed over, and I actually mended it the other day. Um, and this is just two slip end adapters, so you can use that for mending poly pipe. And then you run your poly pipe up, and for like a long garden, um, you would you would run down the length of your garden, which mine's kind of a mess. Maybe I'll actually show you up here where I have a neater garden, and you can actually see the um, drip tape better. So here we go. You could have the drip tape running the length of the garden. It's much easier to have your drip tape running long ways instead of a bunch of short runs of drip tape, at least in my opinion. Um, and you have need of less adapters. Now for um, popping the drip tape into your poly pipe, you will need to use an adapter that it has like a pokey end. And you can also buy um, a certain little tool for poking the holes in the poly pipe. And I'll grab that and show all that in a later video as well. Um, how to put these in. But basically this slides on and then this just pokes into it. So it's really pretty simple to set it up. You just have to make sure you're, you know, think about it a couple times before you get everything poking your holes and setting it up. But um, give it a little forethought and you'll be really happy with the outcome, I think. So we really enjoy it. We would not be able to garden in South Carolina without drip tape and everything without automatic water. Let me just put it that way. It could be other options, but this is definitely the most um, conservative as far as conserving water and um, getting the, wa the garden watered easily and inexpensively. And it's actually not super expensive to set up. Um, I got my initial set of items from a company called Dripworks, which you can order from them online. But I, after that, um, a friend of mine told me about a wholesale um, irrigation company locally, and I bought stuff through him, um, through the, that company, which you may be able to find somewhere in your area and support a local company, which would be great. So I hope that you have a lot of fun gardening. Enjoy.